Hi guys, welcome to Love Vase Adventures. Today I am going to do three DIY science experiments. Let's start. But first I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do first. We are gonna do moving and grooving stick man. Okay, I will tell you the first step first. But first I'm gonna tell you what we need. We need a dry erase marker, a paper towel, and a bowl, and a cup of water. Okay, we're gonna draw a stick figure. There. Now, we are gonna put the water Okay. I think we need a little more water. It's coming alive. It's alive. It's moving and grooving around. Wow, it's floating in the water. Cool. Look at that. It's so cool. Hello. Wow, it's moving and grooving. I'm moving from ground to shore, shore. Wow, that's cool. Let's try the next activity right now. Let's okay, we're gonna draw three flowers. There. Now we're gonna pour um, gently some water, just like we did with our stick man. Look at the flowers. I'm gonna try to get one on my hand. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. It's kind of funny. And I'm gonna let them free now. Put them back into their home. Okay, this is the next experiment. We need milk, dishwasher soap, and food coloring. And this activity is gonna be called Magic Milk. Milk is not just milk. It's made out of water and fat. Well, let's get started. Okay, first, you put some colors in. One, two, only two drops. Do another color and do the same amount of drops. One, two. And do it with the other colors. One, two. Use at least four colors. One, two. Okay, this is where we need dishwasher soap. Well, 
Well, you see, nothing's happening right now. Well, all it's doing is spreading like we do on paper. It does on paper. So, when we put um, dishwasher soap, it makes it move, but it's not making this move. It's making the fat move. So we use a Q-tip and then, okay, we dip a Q-tip into the soap and then dip it, oh my gosh, what is happening? This is cool. Whoa. Wow, this is so much fun. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. Wow, look at that. That's cool. I like this. The blue is taking over. Wee. Wow. The milk really does look like magic. I guess that's why it's called magic milk. Now I'm gonna put some green. I'm gonna take this out, let it dry for a little bit, and then put more colors. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Green, green, green. Who doesn't love green? Let's try another experiment. Okay, next we are going to make a, a nice treat on a hot day. Ice cream! Yay! Okay, what we need is a cup of, of half and a half, some salt, vanilla, and powdered sugar, and some two bags. Some Ziploc bags. Okay. First, we are going to put the half and half in. Oh, cold, cold, cold. Then we are going to put the powdered sugar in. Ask a grown up to help. Okay, we're going to put the powdered sugar in. Yay! And then put a, a tablespoon of um, a vanilla. Okay, then zip it up. Oopsie. Okay, zip it up, but first get all the air up. Then zip it up. Okay, now we're gonna have uh, three cups of ice. Then put our salt in. I believe I'm supposed to put the whole thing in. Oops. Little messy. Now zip it up, but first um, put the the mixture that we just made inside. Oopsie. Tuck it in. Zip it up. And then shake it for 15 minutes. Milkshakes are called milkshakes because they like to shake. Get it? Oh, it's so 
tiring. Why? Why? I think they're ready. Let's try it. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh. Let's put the this aside and oh my gosh, that's very cold. That is very cold. Very cold. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. That tastes good. I'm gonna pick some up. Mmm. Now we know how ice cream was made back then. Ah. Bye. Thank you for walking.